Hey everyone, so welcome to another video and um, in this name GPC WP series. Um, today I will do a comparison of uh, performance between uh, Namecheap uh, website hosted on Namecheap's uh, managed WordPress hosting and a website hosted on a normal shared hosting plan. So this is on a different service and not on Namecheap shared hosting. So this uh, what I've done is created a identical copy of my website. My website is this smarthelpguides.com. I will show you and I will just open it in new tab. So what I've done is created a identical copy of my website and host and um, the left side one is hosted on Namecheap's uh, EZWP server. As you can see here, it's um, hosted on their domain, temporary domain. So and this is the original site and both are completely identical and everything is same. So and I will show you the pl plugins installed. Um, everything is completely same on both websites. So okay, let's go to the plugins and here. Okay, so here you can see um, almost all the plugins are same um, on this website ex except the caching plugins because Namecheap use their own caching plugin and uh, block third party plugins. So and this shared hosting uh, server uses Lightspeed, so I'm using the Lightspeed caching plugin. Uh, this is uh, provided by Lightspeed for WordPress. So you can see this here, and it is not installed in this uh, uh, in this version of the website, which is hosted on Namecheap server. And um, another security plugin, Ninja Firewall, which I'm using on the shared hosting plan. So is not activated on the the Namecheap version of website because um, it uh, because I was getting some error and um, because Namecheap doesn't use cPanel or something, so I was not able to activate it and I'm not using any other security plugin. So ideally, that should be, uh, give Namecheap some some advantage. And the simple light box is available on both website and. Um, Okay, so all this I don't want to make this too long. So uh, all, all everything is same and so let's jump to the comparison of sp speed test. So um, for doing the speed test what I have done is I will do three speed tests from page Google page speed, GT metrics and web page test dot org and um, okay, of the same post. So let's start. Okay, first what I will do is um, I will select a post which has a lot of images. So we will know the actual performance which is better. So just um, copy and paste that. Uh, okay, this is the name, this is the website hosted on the Namecheap server. Namecheap EZWP managed hosting. They also have shared hosting but that's different and this is a managed hosting. And I will do the same copy link from here and paste it. And I've created a lot of other videos about this name GPC WP hosting, a lot of tutorials and my review. So if you want to, uh, if you are looking to purchase uh, this hosting, you can um, check my reviews. Uh, maybe you will find something, uh, find it useful. I've tried my best to um, you know, give my honest feedback and review, do a uh, good review. So um, let's see what is the Google page speed score of this. So um, this is the name cheap one and you can see both the URLs are same. Uh, this is the same post and um, if I scroll down the first, uh, for the first thing is um, it's a bit surprising and um, the only advantage um, the Namecheap server website is not having the website hosted on Namecheap is the DNS is not activated uh, sorry CDN is not activated as the CDN is only available with Namecheap domains so I'm using a temporary domain and um, I cannot activate the CDN function with it so well that's Namecheap's problem and um, I mean it's their temporary domain so they could not provide the CDN service but anyways so and this is using a normal free Cloudflare CDN service 
nothing special and as you can see there's a very big difference for mobile um, uh, name chips uh, got 54 and in name chip ECWP got 54 and this normal shade hosting got 83 and on desktop well the shade hosting got 96 and this got 85 so let's scroll down what I'm interested in is in the stats and um, as you can see the first um, context contentful paint is um, uh, faster on the easy WP hosting and um, is a bit slow on the shade hosting and first meaningful paint is also faster here and the speed index here is 2.2 and the speed index is 1.3 so that's a major difference and for CPU idle is um, the shade hosting one here it's uh, it's quite a difference and time to interact which is a very key factor is two seconds on the easy WP hosting and on shared hosting it's just 1.1 seconds so so what I'm um, so this means that with um, correct optimization you can um, you know even with the shared hosting you can make your website much faster than some proper managed hosting so and max potential first input delay is 180 ms here and it's just 100 ms so um, that's a lot of difference and uh, there's quite a difference in the speed score so let's check the mobile stats and which is very important as a lot of visitors now browse through their mobile so let's see um, let's see the data so the paint um, is almost same for both so and the speed index um, is quite uh, there's quite a little di difference between both and shade hosting is winning here and first cpu idle is 8.2 seconds on the easy wp hosting and on shade hosting it's just 3.6 seconds time to interact was 10.2 seconds and it's just 4.7 and um, max potential 160 and it was 420 as you can see it's all in red here and it's just an orange here so and if you see the um, visual, visual visualization here um, you will see that um, for in the first four snapshots it's um, there's nothing on the easy WP hosting and on the shared hosting plan um, you can see after the two snapshots um, the web, you can see it's uh, the contentful paint I mean the website started loading so uh, this just shows you um, that there is a major difference on mobile and um, if I do a comparison with the see and on desktop it's uh, the difference is even much bigger wider see it's just after the first screen, uh, first screenshot um, it's uh, you can see the website loaded I mean not completely but it loaded somewhat as I, uh, in real world it will um, it is made to load quickly on even on slow connections by dealing the image loading and on Namecheap um, because they use their own optimization settings so you cannot really customize much but with shared hosting I can customize a lot like uh, if I can uh, if I want to delay the image loading or not so um, yeah so you can see and it passed on desktop it passed 20 audits it just passed 16 on mobile um, if you go it just passed 8 audits and on mobile it passed 17 audit so that's a major difference let's check the GT metric score um, for easy WP hosting um, its page speed score is you can see this uh, everything is same the testing server is same and um, uh, there's a major difference and shared hosting is again winning here the page speed score is B on easy WP 83% and A 92% on shared hosting Y slow score is um, slower is um, okay. the average okay so um, both uh, got C and there's not much different but still the shared hosting is winning here um, I hope the I think higher is better is uh, here also so um, I will have to check maybe uh, while editing I'll update it um, if I find something so you can see um, the actual details here page details fully loaded time it's actually lower on the ECWP hosting surprisingly 3.2 seconds and on shade hosting it is 3.9 seconds but um, if you see the total page size it's 
1.16 MB on the ECWP and just 455 KB here I think it's because the Lightspeed has their own image optimization system which compresses your image a lot it's completely free and um, it's really awesome without lo uh, losing the quality of image it just reduces its size a lot and just completely hassle free to set up and it's completely free and the, you can see the total number of requests is just 33 at 70 here so that's what i was saying that um, with shared hosting i get to customize how i uh, customize my site performance you know how how i want it to load because um, i don't want all the requests to all the images to load at once on this if um, you go to this post and i will show you that there are a lot of images here um, okay let's open this is the real world performance and um, okay it loaded almost same i mean yeah it's hard to notice that it, you can see there are a lot of and my um, internet is quite fast so um, i don't think there will be a not noticeable difference so you can see there are a lot of images uh, there are quite uh, some quite a lot of images in this post and um well, with my you can see it's uh, it didn't uh, not all images loaded at once and it's uh, i've set it to slow load so this is um you get with uh, with shared hosting you uh, can customize your performance or website by not because you don't want all your images to load because that will just make the loading time in more uh, especially on the slow internet connections and mobile devices so um okay so you can see if i scroll down so it's pretty much uh, let's check the waterfall okay it's not available and big okay let's check if the y slow score what's um here it is showing use uh, content delivery um medium okay cookie free domains okay um okay let's um I will just um, not to make this video too long I will not go into too much detail but um, you get to see the performance and um, because I think because of the page size actually it is showing the page speed score as 92 percent so and um, and based on how what they consider fully loaded maybe the image is loaded slow uh, because it is uh, set to be uh, load like that to make uh, because in real world it will make the low page load much quicker than loading every all images at once so let's check the next um, web page dot test dot uh, org score and um, the first thing is it's got a a and it got first time byte as f and the rest is a c so it seems the easy wp is winning here uh, because only it didn't got the score for CDN. So let's check the data now. And um, you can see it does, and it's the same server. And the performance is load time was 3.670. And load time here is first view run 2, first view run 3. Okay, for some reason, okay, I don't know why it's showing run 2 here. Anyway, so. Um, surprisingly and the load time is actually lower on the shade hosting but still got the f first time byte okay so first time byte um okay um it got 1.5 and and the easy wp got 0 0.47 so this is why it just it got an f okay, so but the actual load time is slower so there's not a lot of difference actually um I think the shared hosting performed better and it's much cheaper than the EZWP hosting. I'm using the supersonic plan. Um, I'll show you. Yeah. Supersonic plan and um, it's cost much, the shared hosting cost much less and um, offers so much more control over my servers. And um, if you check my other review, I have uh, shown you why I don't recommend EZWP hosting anymore because um, of the poor support I got from them and you can check my other video um, 